Welcome to the Life Force app. In this tutorial, I'm going to give you a few tips for getting started. So before you can start applying for jobs, you'll need to complete your profile. Obviously, the green ones are complete, but if you scroll down, you'll find things like roles. Click in and there. And in here, you'll need to indicate the sort of roles you're interested in working. This helps the Life Force app suggest relevant stuff to you. Once you've done that, just remember to click Save. Skills is often jobs have a requirement to do, so here you can indicate which skills you have and just notice some of them might require you to upload a document to validate it. Obviously agencies might need you to sign a contract, so you can do that obviously digitally in the app. And they'll need to pay you, so make sure you uh, mark whether you're self-employed or employed and add the relevant information. Once your profile is fully complete, you can start applying for jobs and the best way to do that is through the job board. So on the job board, this is going to show you a list of all the jobs the agency currently has available. You can easily scroll through that list, you can see the job ad, you can see the roles available. You can also filter down to the jobs you're most interested in. You can do this by role, by distance, etc. So if you're just scrolling through the job board, you've got the details there. If you find one you like, simply click into it to get more details. Once in on the job, you're going to see who the primary contact is in the agency. You're going to say what you're going to get paid, what the job is about, the role description, and also if the job has any requirements and if actually you match any of those. So if you're a good match, just apply and the agency will then um, review your application. So the My Calendar gives you a nice overview of all the jobs you've booked on and the ones you've applied to. If you go in on the job, you've got all the details there, contact information, directions, tasks you need to do. When you finish the job, submit your timesheet and also uh, expenses. More on that a little bit later on. So on the day of the job, the app will ask you to check in. And this is just to let the agency know you're actually on site. So just press the big check in button. You can also see in my calendar, you might have been invited to a job. So this is the agency asking specifically if you want to work. So review the details and then if you want the job, just click accept. Now for whatever reason you've applied to a job, like these orange ones and you can't work it, you can always go in and just remove your application by clicking cancel application. So the Life Force app also allows you to set your unavailability. So simply add either a day or a period of time here. And if for whatever reason that changes, you can simply remove it by clicking the little cross there. So the Life Force app will send you push notifications. Once you open up the app, you'll see in the top right hand corner actually how many new messages you have. Just click into the notification center and here you've got a record of all the messages. So once you finish the job, you might need to submit an expense or claim. You do this by going to my calendar and the completed jobs. Just open up the little expense tab, add the relevant details, obviously uh, upload a picture of the receipt as well. and then you'll be able to submit that expense claim which the agency will review. So the earnings tabs allows you to see what you're likely to earn and the status of all your claims. That was the Life Force app, hope you liked it.